What's up guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. Right here we've got, right next to me actually, Little Miss Spidey, who is being a lazy girl. Today I wanted to share with you some really interesting information, new studies that are being done on tarantulas, or uh, not necessarily tarantulas, but spiders, but could apply, right? So um, they are studying how spiders build webs. Now tarantulas do certainly make webs in a different way than let's say our house spiders or orb weavers or any other like outside, um, any of those like more little, less hairy spiders. But um, I think that the research here actually is giving us a little bit more light on the spider brain, which is really, really cool. So, um, yes, yeah, so while tarantulas do not build webs like our regular spiders, I think that any study on the spider brain is definitely going to shed light and have some sort of crossover because, um, right now we're not thinking that spiders have any type of intelligence but it's certainly the more we learn we're seeing that there is something more complex going on here whether it's instinctual or actually neurological we don't know but very very cool stuff so i wanted to share it with you so um, researchers have been studying spiders and how they you know they were curious about how do these animals actually coordinate their webs and so the researchers used night vision and artificial intelligence to actually learn about how spiders built webs. The reason researchers wanted to look into this is because if you had seen a monkey, or they said a chimpanzee, uh, build something as complex as a web structure, you would be amazed. And they thought about this as like, why aren't we getting this excited over a spider? Especially because the spider's brain is so tiny. This could actually be even more impressive, right? Like, why do we think that just because these animals are so tiny and we think they're so basic, why are we discounting the actually really, truly amazing things that they can do? So that kind of inspired this study. And... They wanted to know how such a tiny brain can support such a high level construction project. And so what they did was they actually documented all the motor skills of a hackled orb weaver. And so they tracked the process of these spiders building their webs at night. And the researchers recorded the process with an infrared camera and lights around their habitat. The researchers used six six of these orb weaver spiders for their study and they actually tracked each of the legs of the spiders to see just how do they manage the complexities of web building and it turns out that the process was just so complex that they had to use the help of artificial intelligence to actually track the legs and to see how they interact with their webs and here's something interesting that they found even though the webs might look quite different and have differences from each other. The rules that the spiders followed to build the webs were the same every single time. And so like, what do we do with that, right? So like, does that mean, and I don't think they've necessarily answered this question in the study, but it kind of invites the question of, is this a more instinctual behavioral pattern? Um, or is it that the spiders have some sort of working memory or learned behavior about how to build webs? And I guess that, that makes me want to know, is this to each individual spider or do all individual or do all spiders build webs the same? Even if they look different, the process is the same. Now, I didn't really get that answer from this study but I think that they're gonna do more research into this. And they're actually, because of what they learned with the spiders, they're actually going to use this research as a jumping off point to see if this helps us understand larger brain systems, such as humans or other animals. So I don't know, this is fascinating. And I know it's, it's, it's such a uh, almost controversial subject because, um, Right, of course. Uh, we can really assign greater intelligence to a lot of animals in the way that we interpret their behaviors. And it's possible that we're doing it here. But 
I don't think that just because we haven't studied something enough that we should just assume that an animal does not have the ability to have more intelligence than we think it does. Um, I think that there is something really fascinating about spiders and also very mysterious because we know so little about them. And so I'm really excited about the future research and the fact that we can use artificial intelligence and our technology advancements to study things that we couldn't study before. So um, I hope they do more studies on web building and the, the habits of spiders. I think that the scientists and the researchers are absolutely dead on in that to be able to observe that web making is actually quite complex. It is a very coordinated process and just because a little tiny animal is doing it doesn't mean we shouldn't be impressed by it. I mean, webs are beautiful, complicated. They're just awesome. And it comes from an animal that is so tiny and, t and just looks like they do it so easily. So uh, I'm encouraged by this. I hope that it kind of, well, I hope that at the very least, even if it doesn't give us any particular knowledge about the brains or the the brains or the the intelligence of spiders i hope that just appreciating the complexity of what spiders do helps people appreciate them more right to know that these animals are fascinating to know that they are amazing to know that they create beautiful things might make us appreciate them more all right, I hope you enjoyed that. If you know any other spider research about this or any other facts, I would love to hear about it. And I'll see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care.